Hey, you guys, it's Wednesday, so you know what time it is? It's time for Sew on Wednesday. Yes. Yes. It's and I'm still here. <laughs> Carolyn is still here. <laughs> Hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. Um, we're managing to get one video in before the new year yes. now, so we wanted to show you guys what we've been up to. I've been up to a lot of cross stitching this time, and Carolyn's been doing different things too. So we're going to start off with what she just finished. She made something. So show, show us what you made. Well, I stitched this Christmas tree back um, oh several months ago, and it has buttons in the corner. And I decided to make a project bag out of it. And so here is my project bag. That is so pretty. And what I did is I, I covered the, uh, the cross stitch area with vinyl and then put this little border around it and then sewed the back and um, put the bag together. The back is the same as the front, but on the inside I did line it with a red fabric. So it looks really nice. Oh, that's beautiful. It turned out a little bit larger than I had expected, but it works for oh, a nice work. project bag. It's all like the way so, that you put the vinyl on top of the cross stitch yeah, to protect it. Yeah, to protect it. it, absolutely. So you put it in a frame, basically. Yeah, basically. Carolyn, <laughs> you're going to have to show me how you did this. She sewed this together, and I don't know exactly how she put it oh, together. Oh, it's easy. You could do it, too. Yeah. So anyway, that's one of my completed cross stitch, as well as put it together in a project bag. That is so. beautiful. I think this is the first project bag Um You've done, or I know I haven't done any with completed cross stitch. No, it's the first one I've yeah. done. It has buttons in the corner and two or three buttons on the tree. This is Sue Hill's design um, cross stitch. That's beautiful. Yes. Good job. Well, thank Good you. Good job. Thank you. thank you for your encouragement. <laughs> no, really, really. I don't think I've seen a project bag like this. I don't think I have. It's the very first. It's very first. Well, so. she may have to do a video, y'all. Yes. <laughs> So what are we going to show next? Well, we got a new start. You oh, we did. That? Yeah, yes. yeah. This is from Cindy. Cindy sent me a lot of lavender and lace, and patterns. yeah, lavender and lace patterns. And um, we thought this one was so beautiful. So we started this one just the other day. It's an ornament, and this particular pattern back in 1994 was a complimentary pattern that was provided by uh, Lavender and Lace. Yes, yes. And, and she sent you two of these, didn't she? Yes, so I okay. gave one to Carolyn to do. And so we started it. It's a little tricky. Well, you want to show them how it's supposed to look? Well, oh yes, let me pull up She's the picture She's got her phone, because we only have the pattern. We do not have how it actually looks finished. Picture, but I have it But right she's got here. it on her phone, and we're going to show y'all. It is beautiful, because when we went to get this DMC threads the other day at Hobby Lobby, we thought, wow, there's a lot of dark blue and a really dark color so we weren't sure how it was going to look and she found this yesterday and isn't it beautiful look at that it is going to be beautiful and it's got the gold um, going around the outside the, the uh, frame part of the picture is actually four different colors mm -hmm. uh, mixed with a gold metallic thread now the thread number that they uh, mentioned on the pattern was 284Z, which I believe is a discontinued uh, metallic. But we used a substitute thread. It's a DMC thread. It's a, a metallic thread. Yeah. And this particular number was E3852. They do have a lighter gold one, but this is the gold one that we're using. And the the entire frame of this picture is four different colors it's white and then three shades of brown it tells you to use two strands of floss yeah. and one strand of the gold which is a little tricky but it's not too bad let me tell you it's I, a little tricky <laughs> what again here's the picture and what i did hold hold my yeah. phone up there yeah I started the bottom part of the frame. I have about the first three rows, um, 30, 30 stitch rows done at the bottom of the frame, missing a few there. But um, it, it's going to be really nice. And then, of course, the, uh, the picture itself is in different shades of blue. And so I'm doing mine on 14, uh, 
yes, 14 count. It recommended it on 32 count linen, but 14 would be equivalent to 28. Now you're doing yours on 16, 16 count. count. So let's hold up yours. Okay, doing mine on 16 count. And I started doing the part, the bottom part with the gold first. I got so discouraged. My goal was breaking. I was having trouble. I was getting knots. And I started pouting. Told Carolyn, I'm not going to do it. No. -uh. And she, and then I go, Lauren, get a grip. So I, just, can do it. So can I do decided it. just to start in the center. And do the blue. And, so. do, and start on Mary. So, again, this is what the picture will be. Yeah. And, and I've started. I've started. Well, it's not that long enough. Yeah, you've just started at the bottom part of the, the uh, picture well, itself. It's, here, it's not on the camera. See her arm? That's <clears> what <throat> I've got. That's what I'm working on. So, Can you see it? Absolutely. It's going to be nice. And the, the frame is actually all half stitches, which is a little tricky to do because I, I'm used to doing uh, loop start, but I can work around it. Right. So it'll be nice. It'll oh be yeah. Nice. So hold up yours and hold up mine. So that's where it, <laughs> believe yeah. it or not, it's the same thing, but yes. different spots. Well, we thank you, Cindy, for yeah, these thank patterns. You, Cindy. Do these. Yes, excited so. to do that. And I'm glad you found a picture of it done. Absolutely, it's really nice. Now is this one so. yours? Yes, this one's okay. mine. This Over there, I want to take it. It's yours. <laughs> so, all right. So okay. what's next? Well, what's next? Oh, was, I'm going to give you an update on um, my cards. Last uh, last uh, video, I was showing you some cards that I was making, and these are some of the and they're stitched with uh, various metallic threads or regular embroidery thread. And the back is a little tacky because you use scotch tape on it. You don't have any knots. And here's another one that I've done. And again, the back. But I've put a number of them together. Hold that one up. Okay. I've put a number of them together with, uh, and I, I trimmed the card stock. And then. Oh, you just glued it onto the. I used double sided tape. And so I think these turned out really nice. Here's a Christmas one here. So you use double-sided mm -hmm. tape to tape it to the cardstock? Yeah, I oh, just okay. put a, uh, some tape right around the edge of the cardstock and a couple of little strips in the middle. I don't put the entire back on. I don't put tape on the entire back. Okay. But I do on the edges. These are beautiful. Well, thank you. Here's one. Most of these are Christmas-related. I do have Easter patterns. This is a pattern that I kind of made up myself. Happiness is to love and to be loved. Okay. So it'll be just in time for Valentine's. Oh, and here's one with some oh, that one's cute little ornaments, Christmas ornaments. And the nice thing about these, you can use any color uh, threads you want, any color cardstock, and so it's a lot of fun. And so that's just a little update on my cards. Yeah, you spent a lot of time on those cards. Yeah. I was cross stitching. You were just going at it yes. with your cards. <laughs> I did. Yeah, um, oh, and by the way, she got one of those lights I showed, told y'all about that's got a little magnifying glass. And I have a little tray, a metal tray. And she clipped, she had it for Christmas, and she got um, a tray, a little metal tray, and she puts it on her lap, and she's clipped that little light. Onto the tray. And it works perfectly, you yeah. said. So I've got another tray. I'm going to try it with my, with my light, because I got her the exact same one I got. For Christmas. Absolutely. Now there's Absolutely. something else you want to show there's there. There's one other picture. It's a lavender and lace pattern. Oh, she's on the lookout for this one. Uh, yes, it's a discontinued pattern. It's called Secret Santa. This is a completed picture that I, I pulled off the internet. It's secret. It's called Secret Santa. It's by Lavender and Lace. It is a discontinued pattern. And I am wondering if anyone out there in YouTube land might have a pattern, this pattern, that they would be willing to part with uh, for a reasonable price. Uh, yeah, because you found that. On, I found <laughs> one on eBay for like $85 or $95, $85 and it's like, no, 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 I'm, no. I'm not that desperate. 
but it's it's just a really cute pattern it's it's showing santa after christmas just relaxing feet up and there's a little poem there um but i would love to be able to do that one i checked with one of my sisters in arizona who has a stash of lavender lace patterns but no she, she didn't have one which i was surprised because she had a lot of them she didn't have that one well so. anyway so well, they'll anyway. they'll look for it for you oh They're... absolutely absolutely we, i thank you <laughs> in advance for anybody who might find one of those is there so. anything else you got to show uh, no. like i said she worked on all those cards for good. the last two I'm or three good. days yes i'm okay. good well i did do some cross stitching yes you did i did i did i did this is one we both started a lot two years ago. <laughs> two years ago, and I pulled it out. Let me get the let me get the pattern. Don't ask me how to pronounce this this name, but there's the pattern. And what I oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm anxious to show you. <laughs> She's ready pattern. to show it. But I want to show you guys where I'm at. <laughs> I've started on the Santa hat, and I actually had to stop because I was missing a thread. I must have borrowed the thread for another project so I had to go to Hobby Lobby yesterday and get the thread and I did this and I started working on this Christmas ornament right here so I basically on this side and Carolyn is itching over here to show you show them absolutely it's beautiful beautiful stitching isn't that pretty now see I backstitched these up down here but I haven't backstitched that but I did the poinsettia or poinsettia whatever you call it what is that called that's poinsettia Poinsettia, okay. And I did but the Santa right. hat, but that's the pink thread I need. Believe it or not, pink goes in there. And that's my little Christmas ornament. And these are all DMC colors. Yes. So there you have it. The Christmas, I believe it's called the Christmas Ball. Yes, the Christmas Ball. We both started this a couple years ago. I've, I've got two or three of the little characters done, but I don't have it with me. I left it at home. So. Yeah. I'll have to pull that out when I get home. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a fun one to stitch, too. Yes. As long as you've got the, all the threads. Yes. Oh, yes. They're in my bag. <laughs> all right. The next one is a new start. What did you start? I started oh, from... Oh, out of your Miss yeah. Veronique book. Oh, Miss Veronique book. I tell you, I know one time I told you guys that Miss Veronique reminds me of Lavender and Lace. No, once I started the new lavender and lace pattern we just showed y'all, lavender and lace is harder to do than Miss Veronique. So I just want to let you know it's a little bit more. I had to go, I had to rethink, wait a minute, it's been a while since I've done lavender and lace. So anyway, I started up, um, it's a, well, don't, okay, not yet. <laughs> not yet, okay, go. Out of the retro um, cross stitch book, here's the pattern. It's a little girl. Well, actually, I think it's a little, I'm not sure if it's a girl or a little doll. She's right here. Isn't she cute? So I started working on her, and Carolyn's over here just itching to show you. This is what she has accomplished. Isn't it pretty? It very, it really is. She's so, so yeah, cute. Yeah, your stitching is so nice. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Very nice. So you want to hold it up so yeah. I can... Can you see it there? Retro cross stitch. And I'm not sure what the name of this one is. She really doesn't name it, all of them in this book. So, I love this book. I finally got my threads for it, and I'm telling you, I'm it's fixing to go to town. Yes, fixing to go to are. town yes, in this book. Are. And you've continued to work on a couple of other Miss Veronique Oh yeah, patterns. I'm hooked on Veronique. I still really like her patterns. I guess because they come to life really, really quick. Yes, they do. Okay, let me show you. This is Hansel and Gretel from the Fa uh, Fables and Fairy Tale book right there. And what I've done, I've finished the cookies and I've started on the little boy, but you can't really see his face very well. Let me know all this up. Yeah, go ahead. Right here. Oh, 
that's going to be darling. Yeah, I've added these two little cookies, and I've started on the little boy here. And I had to go get one. I had one thread missing, so I went to we went to Hobby Lobby and bought threads. But I've got the one thread I had missing, and um, it's there's a thread on here. Yeah, a little straggle. Anyway, it's going to be so so cute. So you want to hold this up, and I'll hold the book up. It's kind of hard to hold both of them up. I can't tell if it's in frame, so you need to. You're good. You need to turn to that. So. Oh my gosh, it's going to be darling. It's going to be so darling. Yes. Maybe one video I can go through the book and show y'all what's in each book. Because y'all had mentioned that y'all would love to see the pattern, not the patterns, but the finished cross stitch in each book. So you can kind of determine if you want to get the book or not. So maybe one of my videos coming up, I can just have a video just going through the books I have. I miss very neat. And I can just show you what each book has in it. And uh, you guys can have a good idea if you would want to purchase that book or not. So... Okay, you got that? I got it. Let me put it right here. All right, and the next one is, oh my goodness, this one is so darling. They're all darling. Yeah, let me make sure you just hang that. It's these little carolers that have seen White Christmas. And I've done a lot of work on them. I have got, oh, my little corner book marker just fell out. Okay. I have got all this done now, right here. And I finished this little boy. And now I'm starting, oh, and I did this little leaf right here. And I'm starting right here. all the done. Yeah, all of yeah. them done. Uh-huh. So, you want to hold, here, won't you hold it up on the board? Okay. Well, that's darling. Isn't that cute? Can y'all see it? I love it? the little bird. Could y'all see it without bird. being on the board? Because I know you can That's see the Christmas tree lights through it. Okay. Yeah, the little bird is cute. I do have the back stitching on the little bird. That's about all I've got in the back stitch. It's cute. Isn't that cute? So He's let's singing see. too. Here, let's hold it up by the book. So they can see. They like to compare it, which I do too. Oops, oh, excuse oops. me. You got it? Yes. So this is out of the magic of Christmas. Um, Miss Veronique. And I'm still working out of, out of this, although Christmas has passed, I'm gonna continue to work on it. I love Christmas and I love this book. One of my favorite books. <laughs> All of them are one of my favorite All of them are one of your favorites. She gets to listen to me talk about Miss Veronique. She's about had it, y'all. No, no, I'm good. I'm good with it. You're good with it? Yes. Yeah, she really is. So what's next? Now what's next is, oh, this fell out of my very neat book. Hold on. I gotta put that right there. Okay, I made a project bag too. So yes, I'm gonna show y'all my project bag. I finished this one, and this is from the Vintage Christmas Quilt Book, Lori Hull, being my bonnet. And uh, this is the bell. What's the back look like? Oh, it's yellow. It's yellow. It's nice. And I'm already using it. Um, but the inside is polka dots. That's starling. Isn't that cute? So I finished this. And I've got like three more cut out that's got the, um, from the Vintage Christmas Quilt. Are you going to make some project bags out of those? Yeah, they're already, oh, okay. they're already ready to make project bags. Oh, okay, I just good. haven't done it yet. Okay. So, talking about Vintage Christmas Quilt, I have not done any blocks in a long time. Carolyn's up to block number 20. One or two. One, and I'm on number nine. <laughs> I have to catch up. You will. You will. The next one is, I didn't do anything with this, but I want to show you all this project bag because I added... A flower that Sandy made for me. <laughs> and I just love so it. Isn't that beautiful? And I put it on this bag. Did you just pin it? No, I've got oh. it sewn on there. Oh, so what I did, I, I opened the bag and I just went in from the other side, okay. knotted it, and I caught the button shank. Oh, good. And I attached it that way with the button. So, isn't that Sorry. beautiful? I love these flowers. So, thank you again, Sandy. I've got several more to put on my bags. So, I did get that one on. Oh, I love that. 
I love it, y'all. Okay. What's next? Do you have another one there? Did you want to show this one? Oh, Christmas tree? Yeah. That we're thinking about starting We, oh, we haven't started tree. this one. We no. haven't started, but this is, I think, going to be a New Year's start, too, after, like, mm, February. New, new, in the New Year. Yeah, in, in 2024. <laughs> 2024. And Cindy sent me this pattern. This old Christmas tree by Lavender and Lace. And I've got two of them, so I'm giving one to Carolyn to do. And I was waiting for Carolyn to come down, and she actually brought the fabric down early on an earlier trip. But this is what the what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be doing it on 16 count Ada. But it's a, I don't know where you got this from. I bought this at Salty Yarns. Salty Yarns yeah. in Maryland. Okay. It's double loon. It's a hand-dyed fabric. It's beautiful. Yeah. And so it's kind of a marbly, marbled effect. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah. But I think it's going to be yeah, absolutely gorgeous. It. Yeah, it's going to be nice. So that's what I'm going to use. I should have some of that fabric at home, too. That's what I could use on mine. Yeah, I think it'd be beautiful. Because I cut that off of some fabric I bought. And uh, it's got the same kind of gold metallic thread. So we're going to be using the same um, thread that we're using on the little um, ornament they're working on from Lavender and Lace. So anyway, so that's a, that's a new start. It's going to be for 2024. We don't know what month we're going to start it. But it is on our radar to do. Oh, Christmas tree. Speaking of the new year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What did we Christmas do a year Eve. Ago? Christmas Eve. We what did, you, you came up with a great idea called Winter Blues. Winter Blues. Yes. And it was something, any project, small project, small <laughs> uh, project that was at that time just all blue. Yeah. The one we did last year was all blue. Yes. One, one color blue, I believe it was. Right. And we started it on New Year's Eve. Eve. Well, New no. Year's Day at 12.01 12. a.m. We actually stayed up till midnight on New Year's Eve, and we started it. We did like five stitches and then went to bed. And so, but Lorene wants to do another winter Why do we do project. things like this? What? what? <laughs> and so I actually bought this pattern in, um, in Arizona at a little shop in Mesa, Arizona called The Attic. And it's called Winter on the Square. And we showed this to you last video. And Winter on the Square. And it's actually a very small, it's going to be a real quick uh, stitch. It, it suggests doing it on uh, 28 count linen. We're going to do it on 14 count Ada. Uh, but the finished size is only going to be like three and a half, three and a half uh, square. And it's actually three little pillows. We're going to start with the very uh, the middle one there. Yeah. And I've decided to do all three eventually, but I'm going to start with the middle. And I'm going to do it um, on these pre <laughs> pre fat uh, these little uh, they're framed. Framed. Already. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. These I want to kind of get something behind it because of the shadow. Um, but these are small little squares, um, framed Ada cloth, mm -hmm. it's 14 count, and you can buy these at Michael's, you can usually get them in this kind of a rustic color, there's three of them in a package, or you can get them in white, and sometimes they're on sale, like on a, I think I got a 20% off yesterday, and I think they're usually about $10 regular price, mm -hmm. and so sometimes you can use a a coupon for those but I'm going to actually use it this is actually the finished the stitching area for this is about 60 by 60 uh, stitch uh, squares and I think the the pattern itself is 47 by 47 so, so you got plenty of about an inch margin around and maybe three quarters of an inch round, but these are going to be really nice. So I'm going to use that instead of doing pillows. That's going to be very pretty. So yeah. you'll have three pictures. Well, I'm going to do yes. pillows. I'm doing it on what on 14 count white Ada, and um, I'll be doing the middle one and maybe the other two. But we will start with the middle one, like she said. At as soon as the midnight ding ding ding, we were there. We're going to stitch like five or ten stitches and go to bed. 
my husband, he doesn't know what yeah. to think about this. He just goes along with the flow. Well, one of these <laughs> days, we're going to get him to, to start cross-stitching, and the two of you will have be able to sit there and cross-stitch to your heart. I can tell you right now, that is not, not happening. Not going to happen. I know that. So. <laughs> if it doesn't have anything to do with golf, it's not happening. <laughs> So, anyway, oh so y'all, oh I'm sorry, I was going to show them my earrings, I just saw them moving. Carolyn gave me these for Christmas, the little snowmen, aren't they cute? <laughs> so cute. Okay, anything I, else? I think we've got, that covered it? everything today, Lorraine. Okay, you guys, well I guess that's it for our video, I don't think we have anything else to do um, and show you. Well, we got plenty we, to we, do. <laughs> we are approaching the end of the year very quickly here. Yeah, we are. So we want to wish you guys a happy new year. Um, we won't see you guys till next next year. See That's always so year, weird yeah. to say. Isn't I'll it? be here one more video, I'm sure. One, maybe two. Mm, one. one. One? One. You think one? Okay. <laughs> She's saying one, y'all. So oh. anyway. All right. Well, we're planning on going to run some errands. We're going to be going to um, Pinkies too, which is a quilt shop, and look at some fabric. And I don't know where else we're going to go see. Maybe a friend that quilts, you know. Yes. We've got a friend that lives about an hour away that has, um, she does uh, quilting for a she lot of people. She has a long arm quilt. She has a long she? arm, which she calls the big red. Because it's a it's a beautiful, sparkly red color. And it's like, oh, wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> so she has that. And we're going to go see her and see what she's up to. And I don't know what else, but we're up to something every day, it seems like. So. Seems like it. But until then... Till we see you guys again, you guys have a wonderful rest of 2023, and God bless you guys as 2024 comes in. So we'll Blessings see you guys. To all. Yes, we'll see you soon. All right, bye bye now. Bye. -bye.